So Nick, we first meet Nux at the beginning of this film uh, within the walls of the Citadel where he's a war boy and he's essentially a slave to Immortan Joe. I was yeah. wondering if you could explain you know more it. about it than me already. <laughs> well done. Could you explain a little bit <laughs> about this world he lives in and why he's there in the first place? Yeah, basically um, in, in this world, uh, the Immortan Joe is kind of the ruler. He controls the water, the food and, and everything, therefore, pretty much, because that's what obviously people need. Um, and my character, Nux, is someone who is kind of worked up through the ranks of being a war pup um, and then a mechanic and then maybe a lancer at some point, which is someone who rides on, on one of the vehicles with kind of explosive uh, lances sort of thing. Um, and that now he's worked up to becoming the driver of one of the fastest pursuit vehicles. Um, so then he goes out um, to, there's, they're essentially extremists where they believe that if they die in battle being witnessed, um, then they'll go to Valhalla and, and uh, it'll all be really great for them there. Um, and compared to Charlize and Tom, you kind of drew the short straw on the makeup thing, didn't you? How was that to put on? Yeah, I, I figured that, I realised that like quite early on in the shoot when um, Charlize came into the makeup trailer and I'd been sitting there for about an hour, 45 minutes already up at the crack of dawn. She walked in, grabbed like some, some black grease paint, smeared it on her forehead and then walked out. And I was like, well, what, that's it? That's, that was like, she was on set, like done. She was, you know, that's smart. That's when you know a pro that they, um, they make their lives as easy as possible for a long shoot. Uh, now, I read somewhere that during the shoot, during your spare time, you got into knitting. Is yeah. that true? Tell us about that. Yeah, very true. <laughs> you want to hear all my knitting stories? <laughs> I have many. Um, I had to give up the needle, actually, because it became quite addictive. Um, don't use that as a soundbite. Uh, um, I would, at one of my days off, I spent knitting straight in Namibia. I knitted for 10 hours straight, and then I, I lost the love of it after that. But I made, I made a couple of the girls' hats, I made scarves, I made a snood. Um, I got quite inventive with like different colours. I learnt off one of the makeup artists out there. And then, um, and then yeah, that was my kind of thing that I'd sit around knitting. It was, kind of, uh, it was an antidote to all the kind of macho environment that we were in. Um, tell us about working with Tom. I feel as though he's a natural successor to Mel Gibson in a way, isn't he? Yeah, completely. I was saying earlier to someone that if you, you know, it's difficult enough for any actor to go into a role that another actor's already played, and particularly something iconic like this that Mel Gibson was fantastic in, but Tom's so smart and doesn't ever think of anything in a straightforward manner. It's all it's always convoluted in his crazy brain that I can't begin to understand, so it's, um, it's fun to watch him work and, and bring this character to life. Um, and finally, Nick, I gather filming's underway for X-Men Apocalypse now. What's it been like? Some cool outfits, I imagine, in the 80s. I, uh, well, yeah, I kind of, I, I kept on trying all the, like, you know, what Hank McCoy's like, he kind of, dresses quite, you know, conservatively and, and conventionally in quite ways, but old beyond his years. So I've got like, these suits and things. But the 80s is all like shoulder pads and they're huge. And like, I look like a kid dressed up in his dad's suit. I'm like, this, I look ridiculous. I can't wear these in a film. People will laugh at me. But that's, what's, that's what happens. Nick Holt, pleasure to speak with you. You too, thank you. Good to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 